Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com. I got a very special video for you guys, and this one is gonna be on the tvOS 14 beta one and just how to install it. So uh, this is the first of two videos. So the first one is just gonna be showing you how to install it, and the second one is just gonna be a hands-on. So just to prove I haven't updated to the latest tvOS 14, what we're gonna do is go into settings, and then we're gonna go into system, and then we're gonna go to software updates. And now you'll see that it says tvOS 13.4.6 and the build number is 17L570. Uh, so that basically confirms that I have not updated just yet. In order to update to tvOS 14 in this video, you have to have an Apple developer account. So essentially what we're gonna be doing after that is using the Xcode uh, and the Apple Configurator app. And you're also gonna wanna make sure you're on the latest Mac OS. Uh, so uh, just make sure you're on the latest Mac OS Catalina. Uh, and then you'll be able to get tvOS 14 on your uh, Apple TV. So now once we sign into developer.apple.com, what we're gonna do is just simply scroll all the way down until we see the following. So we're just gonna scroll all the way down until we see tvOS 14 beta. Uh, so what you're gonna do is just uh, take a closer look. This is exactly what it's gonna look like. So it just says install the configuration profile directly on your device to receive OTA updates for your Apple TV 4K and Apple TV HD. Now, in terms of the Apple TV 4K, that is the fifth generation Apple TV and the fourth generation Apple TV is the Apple TV HD. So uh, that is just basically the clarification on that. All I have to do is just simply uh, download install profile and then you're gonna go ahead and hit save. And then the other downloads that you're gonna need is you're just gonna scroll all the way back up to the top right here. You're gonna go to applications and then you have to download the latest Xcode 12 beta. So go ahead and make sure you download Xcode 12 beta and you're just gonna press download right here. Now the next download that you can do is the Apple Configurator uh, 2.3 beta. Now I didn't download this beta, I just chose to uh, just download the other Apple Configurator 2 uh, from the Mac App Store. So this one is not essential. So this is the Apple Configurator 2 app that I got from the Mac App Store. Uh, so here we have uh, the what I searched for and then this is it right here. So you can either use Apple Configurator 2 or Apple Configurator 2.1.3 beta. Uh, so those are your downloads that you need. So once again, the tvOS 14 configuration file along with the Xcode 12 beta and the Apple Configurator 2. So now once you've done that, what you're gonna do is just go to your Apple TV and then you're gonna make sure that your Apple TV is plugged in and you're also gonna make sure that your Apple TV is on the same Wi-Fi network as your Mac. So those are the essential things that you have to do. So now once you've done all of that, what we're gonna do is just simply go into Xcode. And now once you go into Xcode, what we're gonna do is simply tap on where it says window right at the top. Uh, so you're gonna tap on window. And then the next thing that we're gonna click on is the devices and simulators. And then what you're gonna do is just simply click on devices and simulators. Now, once you click on devices and simulators, your Apple TV should pop up. And if it doesn't pop up, this is what you have to do. So all you're gonna do is just simply tap on this AirPlay button right at the top here. And then you're gonna to wanna to pair your Mac to your Apple TV. Uh, so you're just gonna simply do a quick AirPlay uh, to your Apple TV. And then uh, once you do that, you'll have to enter. And then your Apple TV will be paired to your Mac. Uh, so just simply do that and then uh, just cancel out of the air and then your Apple TV will be paired to your Mac just like that. Now what you can also do is just go to uh, settings and then remotes and devices on the Apple TV. And then you're gonna go to remote app and devices. And then you're gonna make sure that you see your MacBook Pro in this list. So that means that your uh, computer has been paired to your Apple TV. And it also says to pair a device, just hold it close to this Apple TV. Uh, so that's all you have to do. So now once your Mac is connected, what you're gonna do is open up the Apple Configurator 2 app. And then this is what it's gonna look like. So it's gonna show uh, this Apple TV icon. And if it doesn't look like this, just simply quit out of the Apple Configurator app and then open it again. And then your device should be recognized and it should be right under all devices. So this is essentially what it should look like. Uh, so now all you have to do is just simply click on this Apple TV right here. And then once you click on it, it will take you to this page. Uh, so you're just gonna click on the profiles tab and then this is what it's gonna look like. So it says no profiles installed. Uh, so just click to add profiles. So what we're gonna do is just simply add profiles. 
Now, once you click on add profile, the file that we have to add goes by the following name. So it is tvos underscore 14 underscore beta underscore profile dot mobile config. Uh, so what you're going to do is just simply press add once you find that uh, file that you just downloaded at the early part of this video. And now you can see it says adding profiles on Apple TV. And now you're going to see I have all this information. So you're just going to go ahead and press accept. And now it says adding profiles, waiting for this device. And then you can see that the configurator requires user interaction to install the profile uh, for tvOS 14 beta software profile on Apple TV because it is not supervised. So you just have to tap to install on the device to continue installing this profile. So this is what happened on my TV once I added that profile. So we have all this information right here. Uh, so it says tvOS beta software profile signed by Apple Care profile signing certificate. It is verified and it has this description right here. Uh, so it has the configures the tvOS software update uh, for tvOS beta. It also contains internal settings and we can get some more details. And you can see just everything about it. So you can see when the, the certificate expires. So you can just simply go back. And now what we can do is just simply press install uh, with this Apple TV remote, of course. So now you can see it's a message from Apple. So uh, this just shows it's a developer version. Uh, so now we can just go ahead and hit next. And now we can install the profile. And now it says a restart is required to apply changes. So we'll hit restart. So now I can see my Apple TV restarted. And now what I can do is just simply uh, go into settings. And now I can go into system. And then software updates. And then if we take a look, you can see I'm still on 13.4.6 and the same build number of 17L570. Uh, so now what I have to do is just simply go to where it says update software. And now here we have uh, the option. So it says an update is available for 14.0 uh, and that build number is 18J. 5313T. Uh, so it says, do you want to download and install it? So I'm just going to go ahead and enter download and install. So here we have it, it's just simply loading up. And here you can see that it says about seven minutes remaining. So, so seven more minutes and then you have the greatness of the tvOS 14 beta one on our Apple TV. Now I'd also like to point out from this point on, since we finally installed the tvOS 14 beta profile, when it comes time for beta 2 and beta 3 and beta 4 and so on, uh, we can just automatically update it without going through Xcode and Apple Configurator. All we have to do is just go to Settings and then uh, General and then System uh, and we just go to the Software Update section right here. So it's relatively simple now. So we did all the heavy lifting. So now you can just let the cards fall in place and even get automatic software updates for tvOS 14 uh, since you are a developer. So now I can see it says step one of two preparing the update and it says do not unplug your Apple TV while it's updating and then this may take a few minutes. So now I can see that it's almost done and now I can see that my Apple TV is restarting now and we have the Apple logo again. So you can see it's loading up right now and now it's finished loading up. So now we can see that we're on tvOS 14. Now I can tell because the corners are slightly rounded. If we take a look around the app store right here, you can just tell it's a little rounded now. Now what we can actually do is just go into settings just to confirm it. And we can see you have some new animations as well. Uh, so we can now go into system. And then we can go into software updates right here. And now you can see that we're on tvOS 14. And you can see that the build number is 18J5313T. Uh, so you can see we're officially on tvOS 14 beta 1, and it was just that simple. Now, before I end this video, I will have a full review uh, link down below. So it'll be in the description and it'll also be in the comment section. So just go ahead and click that link for the full review of tvOS 14 beta 1. So thank you for watching this video on how to install tvOS 14 beta 1. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and also smash the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below of what you think of the installation process of tvOS 14 beta 1. And also be sure to subscribe for more great content. And be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms, of Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My username there is AppleCritics. And be sure to subscribe for more great content. And thanks for watching.